From hotline position, we will move into bridging activity. And bridging involves raising the pelvis of the um, mattress. So please raise your pelvis, okay? We will discuss now the transition exactly, but to discuss this position, bridging has so many advantages because still it's a stable position where we have a large base of support and it has increased demands for control on the lower trunk and lower extremity. It is beneficial for early weight bearing through the feet. And uh, in this position, we have to observe that the patient has symmetrical control from right and left sides. And this can be seen by having the pelvis at the same level on both sides. Uh, when doing bridging, anytime you need to uh, take a break, you can put it down. Remember to breathe the whole time. When doing bridging, it is important to remember to instruct the patient to breathe all the time and not to hold their breath. Uh, especially important for patients who have stroke due to, for example, um, hypertension or hemorrhagic reasons. Actually, for those patients, we have to be careful with bridging position because we are putting the heart at a higher level compared to the head. So we have to monitor the patient's uh, uh, facial expressions and remember to tell them to breathe uh, the whole time. Um, uh, another advantage for bridging position is that the thalus itself right here, uh, put it down please. So the here we have the hip in flexion. Now uh, raise your pelvis, we move the hip into extension. So relax. This is actually similar to the movement we do when we're moving from sit to stand. So now here, the pelvis, uh, the hips are in flexion, and then we move to stand, we move into extension. So this is an early activity to start training for patients who have difficulty sit to stand. We start by doing exercise from bridging because uh, we are activating the gluteus maximus muscle, which is responsible for hip extension. And um, just like before, we could vary the base of support by changing the position of the upper extremity from beside the patient to folding across the chest to either clasp in hands and raising the, uh, flexing the shoulder. Yep. And also, we could vary the position of the lower limbs by moving them either closer or further away from the patient with increased difficulty when moving the feet uh, down uh, further away from the buttocks.